today we're going to be showing you how to install Boost Auto Parts 2008 style mirror head with wireless power extend and power fold on your 04 to 06 F-150 truck. This procedure details door panel removal and mirror wiring including power adjust, turn signal, and running light. For exact fitment, please reference our website at BoostAutoParts.com. First, we'll start by removing the door panel. We'll start by removing the trim cover behind the door handle. Next, remove the two bolts directly behind that trim cover. Next, remove these two small bolts at the bottom of the door panel. There will be one on the outer side and one on the inner side. Next, we'll remove the window switch, take a trim tool and pry up on the outer edge so it pops right out of place. Now, remove the connectors from the back side of your switch. You want to depress the latch and just pull directly out. Then, remove this small bolt behind the door panel switch. Taking a body trim tool, you want to remove the speaker cover and just pry up starting at the top working your way around the edge. Once fully pried off, you can pull straight out and it will simply snap out of place. With the trim cover removed, next remove the four bolts holding in the speaker. Then remove the speaker and unplug the connections on the back. Using a pair of pliers, remove the two lower screw inserts for the speaker holes. Then simply pull the door panel in an upward motion to free it from the door. Then remove the door lock cable from the back by sliding it out of its slot and sliding it up out of the door handle. Now that the door panel is fully removed, depress the latch and remove the connector from the mirror. Next, remove the three nuts holding the mirror to the vehicle. Be sure to support the mirror on the other side. Now remove the mirror from the vehicle. Next, take your mirror from Boost Auto Parts and route the harness through the door. Make sure you do not pinch any wires between the mirror and the door itself. Once the harness is successfully routed through, line the three mirror mounting studs up with the holes in the door. Then, reinstall the nuts to secure your new Boost Auto Parts mirror to the truck. Once secured, plug your factory harness back into the Boost Auto Parts mirrors. Now if your mirrors are signal only, you can discard the next portion of this video and skip directly to your wireless module installation. If your mirrors are switchback or signal and running light, you'll run the power feed now. Take the extension harness provided in your Boost Auto Parts kit and plug it into the mirror. Peel back the bottom inner corner of your door panel liner to reveal this opening where the harness routes. Next, remove the door jam boot from the door and the cab. It's just a press fit rubber design, so you'll just have to pry on the rubber and pull it out of its place. Next, take the running light extension harness provided in your Boost Auto Parts kit that you previously plugged into the mirror and tape it to a sturdy metal rod or coat hanger so you can route it through the door jam boot. Now you need to get access to the inside of the kick panel to receive the blue wire through the door jam boot. Start by removing the trim piece for the hood latch release here. Then pull up on the door sill guard while pulling back on the outer kick panel trim piece to remove it. Next, take the taped wire and sturdy metal rod and route it up through the opening in the door into the door jam boot. Be careful when routing this through the door jam boot not to chafe any wires. Route the wire through the other side of the door jam boot all the way into the cab. Once your sturdy metal rod and blue wire make its way into the cab, you want to go up under the dash behind the panel you previously removed and locate that sturdy metal rod with a pair of pliers. If you don't find it, you may have to break through an additional layer of a seal. Just apply a little bit of additional force to break through and grab it with a pair of pliers and pull it into the cab. Now pull that running light wire all the way into the cab, leaving a few inches of slack in the door to tie it up to the factory harness. Now repeat this process for the passenger side. Everything we've done up to this point will be the exact same for the passenger side, so we won't be showing it here, but you can complete this process on the passenger side of the truck. On the passenger side, once you have your blue wire up under the dash, routed from the mirror, tape it to a sturdy metal rod or a straight knot coat hanger so you can run it over to the driver's side of the vehicle. Take the wire taped to your sturdy metal rod and run it through this opening shown here over to the driver's side of the vehicle. On the driver's side you'll receive the wire and sturdy metal rod through the opening. Just pull the slack out. And as you can see here we have the driver's side blue wire and the passenger side blue wire under the driver's side kick panel. You'll want to splice the passenger side blue wire to the driver's side blue wire. You can use any form of splicing you'd like to do this. Now that you've spliced the passenger side wire to the driver's side wire, 
You want to take the loose end of the driver's side wire and tape it to a sturdy metal rod so you can run it up under the dash. To route this blue wire, you'll find this grommet between the brake pedal and the gas pedal underneath the driver's side of the dash. Take that blue wire and sturdy metal rod and poke it directly through the grommet. Run this up under the dash through this grommet and you can grab it on the other side. Just pull all that slack from the blue wire up under the hood. Once under the hood, route that blue wire up to the driver's side headlight. Be sure to tie the harness up and out of the way as you go. Now to tap power on this blue wire, we're going to be working with the headlight shown here. First thing you want to do is remove this plastic trim screw here. You may need to use a pick and pry up on it as you're screwing it out. Then just pop the cloth and trim piece out of the way so you can get to the headlight housing. Go ahead and remove the bolt holding the headlight in just inside the fender. Then remove the two bolts on the inner side of the headlight that were covered by that cloth trim piece. Now to remove the headlight, pull up on the latch just inside the fender and pull directly out. It'll snap out of place. Now locate this brown park turn bulb on the back of your headlight assembly. Twist it counterclockwise to free it from the assembly and pull it right out. Then we're going to be tapping onto pin B, which is the center wire in this brown connector you just removed. This wire color may vary and may not match the image shown here, so always be sure to go off of pin B. Take the included T-tap in your Boost Auto Parts kit and tap onto the wire located in pin B. Make sure the wire seats into the metal jaws of the T-tap and squeeze to clamp it shut. Then strip the blue wire you ran up to the headlight and take the included fuse disconnect in your Boost Auto Parts kit and crimp this onto the blue wire. Next, just shrink the butt connector down. Then take that disconnect and plug it directly into the T-tap you previously installed onto pin B for the headlight bulb. Just plug it in, making sure the disconnect slides directly into the center of the T-tap. Then twist that brown lighting socket right back into place. Now you can align the headlight into its slot and push it back into place. Reinstall the three headlight bolts. Next, reinstall the initial trim clip onto the headlight housing bracket, then just screw it back into place. Now that your blue wire is successfully tapped to a running light power feed, you want to tuck up any excess wire underneath the dash, both on the driver's side and the passenger side, making sure it's fully out of the way. Next, reinstall the corner trim kick panel underneath the driver's side of the dash. Now reinstall the trim piece around the hood release. Then snap the door sill guard back into place. Go ahead and reinstall the press fit rubber door jam boot back into its place. Now I'll be working on installing the wireless power fold and power extend upgrade harness and kit for this vehicle. As you can see here laid out on this bench, there will be two packages in your Boost Auto Parts mirrors. One is going to be for the driver's side, the other is for the passenger side. The driver's side will have two harnesses in the package. We're going to be starting with the driver's side. Here we have the driver's side harnesses opened and laid out on this bench. You can see there's two harnesses. One has two white connectors and one black connector. And the other harness has one large black connector and two smaller black connectors and two disconnects. First, take the driver's side harness that has two white connectors on it. You want to plug these into your driver's side mirror. You'll notice that these are keyed a certain way, so you can't plug them in incorrectly. Next, take the other harness from the driver's side with two small black connectors and plug those two small black connectors into your mirror. These two small black connectors are keyed and cannot be plugged into the wrong slots. Now, if your truck was originally equipped with power folding, you won't need to plug in the black connector with the blue and yellow wires. You'll only be plugging in the black connector with the orange wire and orange and black wire from your Boost Auto Parts harness. Locate the green connector that plugs into your power door lock switch. Then locate the wire in the bottom left hand corner. This is pin 5. Taking a red T-tap from your wireless power fold upgrade kit, tap to the wire in pin 5. This is likely going to be a green with yellow tracer wire, but be sure to go off pin location because wire color may vary. If needed, you can use some pliers to squeeze the T-tap and make sure it latches. Then locate the black wire in either pin 3 or pin 4. Pin 3 and 4 are on the right hand side of the top row. Taking a red T-tap from your Boost Auto Parts kit, tap to either black wire, inserting the wire into the metal portion of the T-tap. Make sure the T-tap closes and latches all the way. Then just go ahead and take the two disconnects off the included harness previously installed. Take the red wire with the disconnect, plug it into the T-tap, tap to pin 5. Then take the black wire and disconnect and plug it into the T-tap, tap to either pin 3 or 4. 
Now locate a good spot to install the Boost Auto Parts wireless power fold modules onto the inside of the driver's side door panel. It's important to note that the driver's side and passenger side wireless power fold modules are different. The driver's side module will have two connectors, whereas the passenger side module will only have one connector on the module. Type the module inside the door panel so there's enough room to reinstall the panel. Tie up all your wiring inside the door, making sure it's clear of the door panel upon installation. Be sure to leave enough slack in the wireless power fold harness so it can reach the module when the door panel is installed. Now repeat these steps for the passenger side. The procedure on the passenger side is the exact same as the driver's side. Now bring the door panel over to the door. You'll want to take the harness for the wireless power fold modules and plug those two connectors in. And then we'll install the door lock cable into the door handle. Next we'll install the door panel, making sure the connectors are fully pulled into the door to avoid pinching any of the harnesses. You want to bring the door panel up above where it would seat on the door, making sure it clears the door lock lever. Once it's cleared, like you can see here, you'll press down firmly to lock it into place. Now we can reinstall the speaker. Reinstall the two lower screw inserts we removed previously. Now just plug the speaker back in. Then mount the speaker back up into place. Then put the speaker trim cover back on. You want to make sure to go around this cover, snapping each individual clip back into place. Then go ahead and reinstall the bolt behind the window switch. Next, take your mirror switch and reconnect it to any connectors you previously removed. Then slide the window switch back into the door panel and slot it back into place. Go ahead and reinstall the bolts behind the door handle. Then reinstall the trim cover. Finally, reinstall the two bolts at the bottom of the door panel. There's one on the outside and one on the inner side. Complete these steps for the passenger side. The door panel installation procedure will be the same. Please note that the passenger side wireless power fold module is only going to have one connector because it only requires one harness. So you won't have two connectors to plug in, you only have one. Now you can test the wireless module activation by selecting the left mirror adjust and then using a sequence of left, left, right, right, you should hear two fast beeps. And just like that, your installation is complete. Your new 04 to 06 Ford F-150 mirrors with the 2008 style mirror head are now installed. To get all the parts shown in this video and more, check out our website at BoostAutoParts.com. Boost Auto Parts offers a wide range of tow mirrors, parts, and accessories for trucks and SUVs. Check us out at BoostAutoParts.com. The next portion of this video is shown on how to operate the wireless modules. This is shown on a GMC, but it will be the same for your F-150 truck. To begin, start by activating the modules. Do this by pressing the left mirror adjust selector. Then, use the left left, right right button sequence on the arrow pad to activate the modules. Once you hear two fast beeps, the module is activated. While the modules are activated, the mirror glass will not adjust. Once the modules are activated, you may power fold and power extend the mirrors. Tap the up arrow to fold the mirror out or tap the down arrow to fold the mirror in. If your mirrors are equipped with power extend, you'll press and hold the left arrow to extend the mirror, or press and hold the right arrow to retract the mirror. To avoid damage to the mirror, be sure not to hold the arrow past the point of completion. In the event the button is held too long, a beep sequence of one long beep and one short beep will sound and mirror extension will stop. You may see the passenger side mirror start folding or extending slightly after the driver's side due to the modules communicating from side to side. To deactivate the mirror, you have two options. The first option would be to let the modules time out. If there is no activity for 10 seconds, the modules will automatically deactivate. You can also deactivate the modules manually by using the left left right right button sequence on the arrow pad. You'll hear three fast beeps once the modules are deactivated. Once the modules are deactivated, any left hand mirror adjustment will be slightly delayed to prevent erratic module activation.